What is going on? My name is Daniel, and today we're going over what you put in there. So what SD cards should you be putting into your camera? I'm a photographer here in Helsinki and I mostly do videos for YouTube and events for larger companies and stuff like that. So getting the most out of your camera, it doesn't matter what camera you have if your card is crap and it craps out on you and totally corrupts and then you don't have any photos at all. And that's sort of scary because there's only one card slot in here. You can back it up and I have a video on how to back it up through your phone and stuff, but getting the right SD card can mean a lot. It can mean losing all your images or it can just mean a slower experience, slower playback, slower everything. But for the most part, you should be good with most SD cards that you pick up that aren't just like plastic knockoffs. So I'm talking Lexar, Sony, and SanDisk. If you buy from them, you're pretty much going to be good. Buying a, okay, so there's two sizes that I recommend. I'd recommend 64 for pretty much anybody because it's a little bit faster than the larger cards that are at 124 or even a two, whatever it is. Uh, and they will read back and write a little bit faster because they're not as much just stuff to work through. But if you are going to be shooting it, 4K for everything all the time, I do recommend going with a higher card because 4K will take a lot of room. And next is making sure you get a UHS-2. You don't absolutely need this if you're only doing video, but this UHS-2, this little piece back here that it makes it compatible for writing a little bit faster is nice because the ESOR already struggles with taking enough pictures per second as the frame rate can be anywhere between four and five. So if you don't have this little bit of extra buffer from there, you're gonna struggle taking more photos um, in succession quickly, which can be a problem sometimes. It'll make you miss things, and especially if you're a sports or action shooter, you're gonna miss stuff, so that will help. So right now, the Sony Tough is what I am using. So it reads at 300 mega bytes, bits, bits, I think, and writes at 299, so pretty much the exact same both ways. It is a super fast card. I love it. It is durable, and the build on this is so much better. When I'm shooting out with Jimmy Doyle, all these other videos I have, boom, up there with him, uh, and we swap cards. He has a sand disc, and it is made of plastic, and every time I he hands it off, I'm just like, oh, it's just it's just not as, it doesn't feel as good. So I really do like that it's all metal, super solid, super tough, and I would take this anywhere and not worry about it, which is really nice because I use and abuse all my gear so much. And video over there where we went out into the cold and rain and did a whole bunch of stuff and I didn't worry about the cart at all. It's a 64 gigabyte because I don't shoot 4K except for like B-roll and stuff like that. I use 1080p and then I upgrade it to 4K. There is a list right here, boom, 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 of other cards that will be good for you, but this is the one that I personally recommend and I've loved and used. So hope this video helped you out. If it did, don't forget to check out all our other stuff on this channel about the ESOR and mirrorless Canon cameras. Thank you for watching. My name is